Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, retired professor from QSAT. In this problem in development of surfaces, we are going to draw the development of a pipe elbow. A pipe elbow is used to connect two pipes at 90 degrees. This is the question given. This is the shape of the elbow. It's a pipe 50 mm diameter connected to another pipe or 90 degree turn to another pipe of same diameter, 50 mm diameter. Agreed? This is the shape of the elbow that is given. 50 mm diameter, 20 mm on this leg, 20 mm on this leg, 50 mm diameter. Now, it's a circular pipe, circular pipe elbow. Cut it along this joint. It's a joint. Cut it along this joint. Keep the bottom portion on the floor and keep the top portion after turning it through 180 degrees. What will be the shape? The shape will be this. If you this is the first part. This is the first part. This is the second part kept over it. What is it? It is a cylinder. It is a cylinder of 50 mm diameter and the height, how much is the height? This is 20, this is 20, up to this is 20, what is this? This is 50 because this angle is 45 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees. So this is 50, this is 50 for this to be 45 degrees, isn't it? So this is 50, so 20 plus 50, 70 plus 20, total height is 90, that is very important. It is a cylinder of 50 mm diameter, 90 mm height, cut by a cutting plane which is inclined at what angle? 45 degrees, this angle is 45. It is a cylinder, 50 mm diameter, 90 mm height, cut by a 45 degree cutting plane. You are asked to show, draw the development of this elbow. You know the development of a cylinder. When you draw the development of a cylinder that is 50 mm diameter, 90 mm height, you know you get a rectangle of length pi d, 90 mm height, a rectangle. Since the cylinder is divided into 12 equal parts of 30 degrees each with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L at the bottom and M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z on the top, those points are marked in the elevation at the bottom and the top and if you draw the development, you have to divide it into 12 equal parts and mark A, B, C, D up to L, A, M, N, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, M. Now, these points have to be brought on to this development. This is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash, 12 dash. How do you draw the development? How do you bring it into the development? Draw horizontal line through 1 dash. 1, extend it. You have got a 1 there also. 2, 12, 3, 11, 4, 10, 5, 9. Draw horizontal lines through 1 dash, you will get 1, 1, 2 dash 2, 12, 3 dash 3, 11, 4 dash 4, 10, 5 dash 5, 9, 6 dash 8 dash 6, 8 and 7 dash 7. Connect them. Connect them by a smooth curve. You get a curve like this. It is a development of a cylinder cut by a cutting plane which is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Okay, it is a very simple question. This is the easiest way of drawing it. I have cut it into two pieces, kept one piece over the other so that it became a cylinder and we have drawn the development of a cylinder. Very, very simple question. Isn't it? You can draw it in 10 minutes if you draw it like this. Otherwise, you have to draw one piece and the other piece it will take a lot of time. This is the easiest method of drawing it. I hope you understand. If you are happy with the presentation, please subscribe my channel, share it 
and like it okay thank you